With feed costs significantly higher than this time last year, we are talking about ways to tell the value of your hay with Dr. Dave Lawman, our Extension Beef Cattle Specialist. Dave, kind of set the stage for us. What's the scenario this year? I think most people would say that at least the second cutting hay has, has been delayed, probably native uh, range or prairie hay was delayed because of a lot of early early rain and people just having to get around and and so on around all the different hay meadows. I think the main main thing is people just need to know the quality of the hay that they have and that information can be very powerful in determining an appropriate and a lower cost or hopefully save some money on their winter feeding program. Well the bottom line is always important of course but with prices quite a bit higher. Every dollar counts, every penny counts. Oh, oh my. I mean, uh, feed prices maybe, I don't know, anywhere from 20 to 30 percent higher maybe this year compared to last year. So yeah, time spent doing homework this year is going to pay off. So how do you get started on that homework? What's the, what's the best way to begin? Okay, well I, I think the the thing we tell people all the time and encourage folks is to get your hay tested. I mean that goes without saying and really important this year. But I'd encourage people to ask for a protein concentration and an energy value. Together those two things make up what we can we generally call a quality of the hay. So talk about the hay in your own pasture or in the OSU pasture what happened there? What was the scenario? So I, I just uh, worked up an example with two different lots of hay or harvest. Uh, both of these are Bermuda grass and one was harvested just a, a week or two earlier and it's, uh, it's actually a first cutting. So it's a late first cutting for Bermuda grass. Uh, it's 6.6 .6 protein and it's 49% TDN. So we consider that for Bermuda grass, people that raise Bermuda grass and test it know that that's low quality Bermuda grass forage. Now it's probably got a few weeds in it and it's got some crabgrass and so on and so forth. The other hay that I evaluated in this example uh, was a second cutting, baled maybe about 10 days later and it's 9% protein and 58% TDN. So then what were your next steps? You entered all of this information into the extension tool we call the calculator? The calculator, you bet. And that's a, it's a, a nutritional evaluation program for beef cattle. It's available for free. We can link it on the website. I start with the low quality hay and I, I plug it into calculator based on the test information I get back from the laboratory and I adjusted the supplementation until I had adequate protein for those heifers to maintain a body condition score six and until I had adequate weight gain uh, to maintain that body condition score six because they're growing a fetus too right and so and they're growing their first calf heifers they need to be gaining weight. The total cost was about $1.56 a day. Then I jumped over to the higher quality hay and plugged in the data. As it turned out, I didn't, I didn't need any supplement. It was high enough energy, high enough protein to maintain their body condition score six, keep gaining adequate weight to maintain that body condition. So, um, but the cost was considerably lower. In fact, as I recall, it was about a dollar a day. So then what I did, Lyndall, was I went back to uh, that the uh, feed list and I kept bumping the value of the high quality hay until I got to $1.56, which is the same price as my nutritional program for the low quality hay. Uh, I wound up at $115 a ton. The low quality hay, I started at $50 a bale, which is about $74 a ton. When I got finished, same performance, uh, projected uh, adequate protein, I was at $115 a ton value of the better quality hay. So that is the takeaway. That is the end result is knowing that value and having that as you make decisions moving forward. Yeah, that, that should look at the entire nutritional program, the performance of cattle meeting their requirements, uh, the difference in value of $74 a ton versus $115 a ton. Okay. Terrific advice, Dr. Dave Lawman. thank you very much. And for a link to that tool we mentioned, the calculator and the fact sheet explaining it, go to sunup.okstate.edu.
www.edu.